goal? Yes. Mm-hmm. We're working on the goals today? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, um, number 12. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I'd like to be able to buy or sell. <laughs> be able uh-huh, to buy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or sell. Oh. <laughs> and then there's number 13. Yes. Uh-huh. Buy a vehicle. Oh, <laughs> now I'm um, I'm writing down my goals. Yes, with the intention. Yes, that I'll rearrange them as I have them written down. Yes, uh huh. So that um, when I get uh huh, my sons. Yes, mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna sue this state. Yes, and every state. Hope mm-hmm. for knowing. Mm-hmm. About the falsification of my identification, right? The fraudulent, yes, police reports, yes, uh huh. Citation in Squim, Washington, and the two count criminal complaint in Jefferson County, yep. The refusal to admit the evidence that I wasn't in Squim, right, and I wasn't in Brennan, yes. And then there's the idea of the fraudulent mental health evaluations where you said I was um, schizophrenic, right bipolar and uh, persecutory delusional <clears throat> mm-hmm. then there was the scheduled cell hearing yes the dismissal of the cases because you said i was incompetent right mm-hmm. and this idea that this state and every state will knowingly obstruct me from purchasing any item for sale mm-hmm. that requires identification <laughs> uh-huh. Now, not being able to buy, mm-hmm. and I would say sell, because quite often there's, well, there's a requirement of having a valid uh, identification to be able to sell items. Yes. This state has uh, conspired to deprive me of the right to buy or sell. Oh, <laughs> now it could be one of those large lawsuits. Yes, mm-hmm. a tort lawsuit. Boop. And um, when I inform law enforcement that somebody changed the information on my driver's license, yes, so as to conspire against me, yeah, having my rights enforced, yes, so as to cover up the taking of my inheritance, yes, <laughs> so as to have me admitted to a mental health facility, yes, I'm going to sue this state and every state. Mm-hmm. Now, your immediate thought is the Commerce Clause of the United States Constitution, yes, mm-hmm. Well, then there are the amendments, the 27 of them, and you violated uh, 24 of them? Yes. And some of them multiple times? Yes. Now, you would say that you didn't get an email from me after 2,700,000 of them? Yeah. And then you'd obstruct me using YouTube and Facebook to be able to communicate? Right. I'm thinking that the obstructing of my right to uh, renew my license, yes, based upon the previous information that was provided when I renewed it, yes. See, there's that renewal date, Mm -hmm. issue date 7-7 of 2009, yes. Now, that would have been July 7th of 2009. Now, as I remember it, we could have been in Vancouver at that time, and I might have still been uh, an owner, yes, though in foreclosure, right, of the 2204 East McLaughlin Boulevard, mm -hmm, Vancouver, Washington, 98661. Yeah. Now, let's see. Since that was the address that I put on my license, right, and the foreclosure, the actual taking of the house, I think happened in August or September of 2009. (laughs) We moved to Airway Heights, and I think that I renewed my license before we moved. Yes. Now, maybe Heidi remembers when we went outside of Airway Heights. Yes. We went to a little county not far from Airway Heights, and if I was to look at a map, I could tell you where we went. Yes. She got her license renewed about the same time. (laughs) And I just wanted to make sure of each and every location of the United States where you can renew your license. Yes. The actual employees, the physical location. Oh, see, there was a park across the street from where we went to renew her license. Yes, we did. And we played on the the merry-go-round. Yes. Mm -hmm. Had little kids at that time. Yes. And there was like a a place to swim in that little county. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Now, we drove out there for some reason. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it seemed like a nice day out uh, away from where we were living at, where we were homesick. Just, you're getting sued mm -hmm. for obstructing my right to buy and sell. Yes. And it could involve numerous amendments of the Constitution. Yeah. Now, I'm going to want to be able to buy and sell. Yes. And that's going to involve uh, law enforcement enforcing the laws. Yes. I'm going to want my sons and I'm going to want custody of them. Yes. Victims' rights and resources. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to want to speak to Marilyn about where she wants to reside. Yes. And then I'm going to want to live in a hotel, a five-star hotel mm -hmm. that has an oversized bathtub. Yes. <laughs> Now, these vehicles, yes, let's say that you wanted to be employed in the office. I'm going to need to know the longest wheelbases of all vehicles that have been manufactured in the United States. <laughs> you might not have long legs, but you're probably triple D or larger. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I'm going to need to buy up these vehicles. And if you really piss me off, yes. I will buy every classic car in the United States and I will smelter them up so they no longer exist. Oh, <laughs> now for those that you that didn't want to sell, boop. Mm -hmm. I'm one of these that likes to corner the market. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, my thought is if I bought all the classic cars that no longer have to go through emissions. Yes. I have found out in the state of Washington, if the vehicle is over 25 years old. Yes. It no longer has to go through emissions. Mm hmm. Now, just looking through this magazine, yeah, there was what was known as, oh, Chubb, Pooh, as a car enthusiast. Yes. Insurance is an extraordinary as your car. Mm -hmm. Now, Chubb is the marketing name used to refer to subsidiaries of Chubb Limited Provider Insurance and Related Services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Surplus Lines Producers. Mm -hmm. Could you put in quotations? Yes. Surplus lines. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. On every web page and website, because I'm going to want to know all the surplus lines of the insurance companies Yes, that provide these types of specialized insurances for those that want to buy cars in the 1940s. <laughs> See, I might buy one of these 1940s Buicks. Yes. And look at it and say, oh, my gosh, it's a beautiful vehicle. <laughs> and then redesign it using my own innovations known as the pontonic uh, transmission. Yes. <laughs> the magnet suspension system yes <laughs> and then there's a wobbler motor oh my gosh <laughs> now when you have that long engine compartment yes think of a, a straight 12 <laughs> yeah, <it does. laughs> i'm thinking that i'm gonna want to know all of those uh insurances yes of every vehicle over 25 years old in every state of the united states yes now these surplus lines insurance is sold only through licensed surplus lines producers yes but they have what is known as underwriting. <laughs> you know, I think you'd have a difficult time getting any insurance without a valid form of identification. <clears throat> and of all the commercials that I watch on television, and I watch a lot of them. <clears throat> why don't you get me the insurance companies? Yes, because I don't think I can get life insurance. No, <laughs> I don't think I can get auto insurance. No, <laughs> I don't think I can get any insurance. <laughs>